G'day and welcome back to Dark Solar Gaming and our Let's Play series on Planet Coaster. So we are back here at Dark Solar Gaming Park, DZG Park, and we are going to continue on with the development of our uh, pirate area. So in between the last episode, we've done a little bit more terraforming through here. We've just tidied up our barrier here. Uh, so this is the barrier between uh, the general park area over through here, which we looked at the last episode and the pirate area which is over through here which is what we're developing uh, so added a few more trees and developed that up a little bit more uh, the monorail now goes through that escarpment area through there um, so just a bit more atmosphere and certainly blocks off the pirates from this side of the park which is an element of what some parks actually try and do all right so over in here We've got our roller coaster here running. We've got lots of people over here now. They've been using the monorail. Plus, we also attach the path over here. So there's a lot of people coming through on the path, which is fine. Uh, we have a ride down here, which we're going to uh, to have in the pirate area. We're going to have to build around that to give it the uh, the look and feel of a pirate area. Uh, we've got a lot of space over here still to use. And uh, we're going to do something in here right now, which is just a scenery. So... Many guests are trapped in the park. That's not a good idea. But anyway, we'll just leave that for now. So what we are going to do, we are going to come in here. We're going to grab the push tool. And we are going to push all this ground down. All right. So just a nice big area through there. Okay, we're going to have it come through to here. And I think actually what we could do is we'll actually also bring that through there I don't know if this is going to work we're going to try this on the fly I'm just going to put this through here. Bear with me as we just get that size a little bit more. There we go. That's more like what we want. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this path. Just for the time being. Push that over through there. And by the magic of Grayskull. There we go. Alright. So what we're now going to do is we're going to see if we can get this path to re-establish itself. So we're just going to uh, put the length out a little bit more. And we're just going to make sure we've got uh, path supports, curved slopes. Uh, we want a railing on the ground queue. Riding on the ground path. No, that's not what we wanted. All right, so what we'll do is we'll undo that. Uh, we will grab a proper path and we'll make it out of timber and we'll just. Uh... No, it's not doing what I want it to do. All right. Undo that. Okay, now what we'll have to do then. Yeah, it's bizarre because it worked through there. Alright, so what we'll do is um, paths tunneling. Right, that should work. That's better. Alright. Now we just need to change that to the. It's not going to do that, so we want to change to that. All right, so there we got a little bridge over there. That's fine. All right, 
So that hooks in our water over there nicely. All right. I wasn't really explaining what I was planning on doing, was I? All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just landscape around the lake. So first thing we're going to do is I want to put up some scenery. Uh, I want to use the pirate filter. So we've got all our pirate stuff here, and that's what we're going to utilize. All right. So first things first, I want to put the galleon out there, uh, which is it's the biggest piece we've got, and I can't find it. All right. There it is there. All right. So we're going to put this out here, and he's going to be in the middle of the uh, middle of the lake. Like so, we're going to just lower him down. To there. Right. So he's there. Done. We're then going to put a, a rowboat. Uh, in fact, I'm going to put out there first. I'm going to put a dock. So he's going to have a dock out here. Uh, now, just lower that a little bit. Just so it goes to there. There we go. Perfect. A rowboat. Gonna have that sitting at the end of the dock. Like so. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, now I think what we need to do is we need to have a campsite near here because this is where the pirates have come off and uh, and they want to have a bit of a campsite. So we're gonna put a campsite there. We'll put a little bit of a small shack here. Like so, and a larger shack here as well. Like that. All right, so we got those in there. Now, I think what we need to do is we need to have a bit of uh, other props around here. I think we're going to need to put some uh, some barrels down, so we're going to put them down here. A pile of barrels here. Have them stacked on top. Like that. That's not too bad. That looks alright. Alright. And what else are we going to have? We need some munitions around here. Let's put some munitions just down in here, like so. Alright, what else we got? Now we got some pirates. Let's have a look. We got pirate fall, pirate kawa, pirate sit. Okay, so can we have them sitting? You know, move this and go align to surface. I don't know what the height's like. No, we don't want them sitting through there, do we? All right. Um, what we'll do is we'll bring the pirate up just so he's there like that. We're then going to grab a barrel. We'll put this under the pirate. Like so. that way he's actually sitting on it properly that's all we want there we go all right that should suffice so he's sitting on his barrel and all nice and happy there and the pirate lookout I think He's going to be looking out, ready for trouble. He's all that. Put a couple of red coats in. They're going to be firing.
Oh, don't want to do that. Oh, we want to go like that. Just want to hide the uh, the controls just below the ground level. We don't want to make it look as though he's walking through the ground either. There we go. That should suffice. There you go. So he's been uh, summarily shot. Our scenery again. Um, So that's all well and good. Sorry, I'm uh, concentrating too much, aren't I? All right, so that's uh, that part through there. We're uh, just going to get some uh, bit of sort of fencing through there. You're going to need a bit of uh, food. So pull that down here as well. That's all well and good there. And we need to have a cannon. It's all well and good there. You're going to sit behind the cannon there. Like that. He's happy as Larry, sort of. And what else we got to do? We've got pirate sit, pirate idle, um, saluting. I think what we might do is we might actually put uh, the red coat saluting. Put a guarding red coat over here, like so. And the saluting one we'll put over here. Like so, a couple of pirates in here hiding, but that's okay. They haven't, the red coats haven't seen them, that's all good. And we'll come back over here. All right, so we this is coming together slowly. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get some terrain, we're going to change it to a more of a uh, sandy type of area. Haven't really got a sandy area, but we put a bit of the rocky texture through there like that that'll suffice go back to our scenery all right now what else have we got left to do i think what we can do now is uh munitions whatever we got down there i think what we need to do is give it a little bit of plant life so i think we'll go to here we'll get rid of that and we'll put some uh, pine trees in so uh, it's got to be a Caribbean type setting. Just randomly put them around. Like that. that uh, yet again we've got a tree that's misplaced or a palm Plenty of palms in through there. A couple of date palms in as well. Gives a bit of a Caribbeanish type uh, feel. All right, so that's about enough for that. We'll put some. Uh, uh, they're not going to really match. What am I after? Some jelly palms. Oh, 
Like that. I'm just going to fill this in, make it look a little bit uh, more natural. Like that. not looking too bad in there um what else are we going to put in there hedges aren't going to do us any good all right i think that's probably about it for that we'll go back and have a look at uh our pirate stuff again just to have a make sure we haven't sort of left anything out um i think that's probably about it oh we'll put this in Nothing like a bit of a skeleton every now and again. And uh, the netting. Put that in there like that. That's probably about all we need, I think. I think that's not looking too bad there, actually. Um. <clears throat> So basically we've got the uh, the red coats have come in they've kept, got the pirates here and they're uh attacking them a little bit i think though we need to have a couple of pirates shooting back there don't we um so let's just do that we'll place him just behind here like so and we'll put one more in here There you go. All right. So there we have it. So there's a bit of scenery just done very quickly. Uh, a bit of a theme to it. We've got the uh, the big galleon out there at the back. We've got the little rowboat. We've got a little a little uh, um, <laughs> jetty. <laughs> Words escape me. All right. Uh, I've got a little jetty and all that out there, and I think that looks uh, quite. Good. All right. The other thing I did want to do quickly is I want to come over here and just uh, smooth this train out that's here. So we're going to uh, smooth this out in there just so it doesn't look all jagged and unnatural. But uh, but I don't think that looks too bad. I think that's come up all right. Uh, we're going to do a lot more uh, work here with trees and stuff like that and just sort of tidy that up a lot more. Um, but that will be done off camera, obviously. And uh, and yeah, so we're getting getting close. All right. Now. The other thing we want to do is we want to, like I said, we want to get this ride here going uh, and we want to build around it. So how do we build around a ride in the game? All right, so what we need to do is we need to click the, um, we need to click on this. We need to then uh, go to building, uh, custom, and we're going to go stucco. All right. Now, what we need to do is place a wall and gonna find our walls. Where are our walls? Wall pieces. Like that. Now, I didn't click find it, did I? Now, there is. Um, let's place the entrance. Place the entrance. Place the exit. Right, connect them to the path. Whoops. I don't want that. Alright, got to fix that up like that. Pass, Q. Turn off the auto tunneling. And we'll fix up the type of path a little bit later. But for now, we'll just get that in there like that. Alright. Now, um, now normally, okay, so obviously we're not going to have that this time. So what we're going to do is we're going to build around the ride. 
So we will grab our wall piece and we will align it as carefully as we can. Like so. And then we're just going to see what sort of dimensions we need. So there's those there. Right, so what we'll do is now grab all of those and we'll move that just so we get it to around there and then what we'll do is we go edit building come back and grab more of our walls and well, grab the wall this time rotate it and then we can start uh, going this way and then what we can basically end up doing go a little bit further out and then we're going to come back like so right now what we need to do now is judge where our doors are going to be so we're going to have there and there so what we'll do now is go done we're going to move that whole building we're just going to line it up just like so now what we can now do is we can come back in here to the right and we can go uh, remember how we can actually change our entrances and exits uh, no that's not what I want to do operations Oh, I can't remember how to do it now. That's pretty silly. Anyway, we need to um, Should be a move entrance part here move entrance here we go Right, so we're gonna move the entrance once we've got the wall in so what we're gonna do. Sorry. I've lost pot there Right, so we're gonna edit the building and duplicate the wall we're going to put that down there and there and there and there so what that enables us to do now is when we come in here and we go place entrance i can place the entrance in the doorway and i can place the exit again in the doorway okay so that's now positioned perfectly for the right now this is when the ride won't actually um align and be able to like with the co with the coaster stations you can actually align it all together so what we're going to do is again we're just going to move this just a little bit because it's slightly out of uh, kilter we are then going to rotate it just a fraction until it seems to be relatively well aligned it's probably close there all right so we've done that now I'm going to go back in here. We're going to edit this again. Our stucco's there. So where's our arch? We're going to go find our arches. Our entrance arch. We are going to use uh, these ones. No, we're not. They don't look very good. No, we're not going to use that one. Bit narrow. That one. We'll put one in there. And one in there. All right. So there you go, there's our base of our building. So this is the building that's going to encapsulate this ride. So we can make this a dual level or a single level. I think for aesthetic purposes on this one, we are going to make this a dual level. So we are just going to grab our wall pieces. We're going to add them on. Simply just a matter of clicking them on there like that. And put some on here. All right. Rotate And that's as simply done as that now before we put the roof in that on what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add the lighting inside um, Just to give it a little bit better aesthetics So we do that And then uh, that's pretty much going to be it. So what we'll then do though is we'll also have our windows and our doors so windows uh, We will use these shutters here uh, Now we're going to have a line of surface we're going to have position snap so they snap 
get it even spacing all the way along like so it's perfect we're going to have a door snap down here one door there and we're going to have another door here like that perfect all right uh windows are going to have now we've got to get these to line up so we're going to have um We'll turn off position snap for these and we're just going to like that and we're just going to put them along try and keep them as centered as we can Second to last, and last. All right, so that's the front facade pretty close to being complete. What we need to do is we need to add some uh, fascias. I don't think we're going to use the fascia. Um, canopies, I'm not going to use the canopies either. Um, so that's okay. Shop decorations don't need lights. So we're going to get rid of the stucco for the lights. And we're going to find our favorite pirate looking lights, wherever they've gone, which is here. And we are going to come out of there, actually. We're not playing the game. All right, now we want to. Turn off position snap now. We want to align that to there. One there. And one there. And similarly, we want to put it at the same on the other side. So one there. And one there. All right. So they're centrally located and at the same height. So they look nice. All right, so that's primarily the front fascia of the building. The rear we don't really need to do, but what we can do for the rear of the building uh, is we can add some other details in that. So we can... Uh, <clears throat> where are the accessories? Um, aircon unit. So we can put an aircon unit. Uh, now, get that there. Aircon unit here. So it's going to have all the modern uh, infrastructure on, obviously inside, but uh, we're going to put those there. Now, I'll go back to my lights again, and we grab our... Oh, where has he gone? Down the bottom. All right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to position snap, and we are going to just put these around. That'll do nicely there. Do the same on the other side. So one, one. Oops. That will suffice there. And then we'll put one not quite centrally. Here we go, one there. Like that. Bring this one across so we know it's aligned. Like this, and we'll rotate 180 degrees, and then we'll push him back to the wall. It needs to be just rotated just a little bit more, and there you have it. Right, so they've all been evenly placed. We'll delete that one there that's not meant to be there. And then we can put the roof on, and then that's pretty close to being complete. All right, what's, what have we got left? Uh, we're basically at time, but we will put the roof on. Uh, no, actually, bugger it. We'll just do it now. Let's do it really quickly. All right, so we go to the roofs. We're going to go find our roofs. No, we don't want the dynasty roofs. We want these ones here. 
So I want the corner pieces. Uh, rotate, raise. So that's what we do there. Rotate, rotate, rotate. All right, now we just need these. Fill them into the spaces. Like so. Whoops, missed one. You see the lights are all coming on now. Okay, uh, now. Now with another corner piece. Now like that. That's going to match perfectly, which is very good. There. All right. Uh, right edge. No. Which I want. I want. I want. I want. I want. I want. Right. Put the wall edges on. The roof tile edges on. I mean. Like so. And that. Right, I will do these ones as well. Got to make it look properly. Proper. Properly. Alright, there we go. So that's that done. Uh, I'll quickly add a chimney in. So we'll just do that. We're going to flip him up so he's upright. Done. There we go. Alright. And that's it. That's our building that encases that ride. And uh, we'll do a little bit of more work in tidying it up in the uh, next episode. So, thanks so much for joining us here. I hope you didn't mind today's episode. It was more based on the scenery aspect of Planet Coaster and setting up our pirate uh, area. And uh, next time we'll get into doing some more rides and some other stuff. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Press the like button if you liked the episode. Press the dislike button if you didn't. And, of course, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing to this and other Let's Plays, obviously, on the channel. And no matter whether it's morning, afternoon, evening, or night, no matter where you are in the world, take care of yourselves and your loved ones, and we'll see you again very, very soon back here at Duck Zorley Gaming. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye.